part of the spread of the gospel all over the world for the, for the message and mission of Christ, there is grow, no greater motivation to give them the cross. You see, if the cross does not motivate you, there is no greater motivation. When you come to the cross and you see heaven's supreme gift in Jesus, and when in your mind you see Christ hanging there on that cross, the divine Son of God left the glories of heaven. He left the worship of the angels. He left the fellowship of the Father. The divine Son of God came to the snake pit of this world. And there in this world, he walked among us, healing the sick, raising the dead, breaking the bread, feeding the 5,000. He came to live a life of self-sacrificial service. He gave his all for us. And the least we can do is give our all to him. Amen. Many years ago, in the Vietnam War, there was a young lieutenant, 28 years old. He had five buddies that were with him in the war. They were stationed together, fought together in Nam. And he said to them, my goal is to get every single one of you home. That's my goal. One day, they were under very, very heavy attack. The mortars were, 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 were firing. They were down low in a foxhole. There was one particular sniper that a young American soldier said, I think I can get him crawled out of the foxhole, and as he did, he was about 30, 40 feet away. He took a bullet in the shoulder, took a bullet in the leg, took two more bullets in the stomach. And this lieutenant, seeing this young guy dying, said, I gotta go get him. And he went out and got him, brought him back. And the medics began to work on this young, wounded soldier. And he was gonna make it. But as the young lieutenant was rolling him into the foxhole, the lieutenant took a bullet in the head and died instantly. When the Vietnam War was over, the parents of the young lieutenant wanted to meet the young soldier who had, who, who their son had saved his life. The soldier lived on the east coast of America, and the parents of the lieutenant lived out in the, um, in the west coast. So they gave him an air ticket, he flew out, and this lieutenant's mom put on a beautiful, beautiful meal for him. The young soldier came in, and he had been drinking, unfortunately. He made foolish jokes, made some foolish statements. It was a horrible night for those parents. They wrote about it later, and they said it was just horrible because there was such disrespect. He got up to leave, hadn't said much about those events in Vietnam. Maybe it was too painful, I don't know. But he just got in the car, began to speed away, throwing cinders everywhere, and sped away. Before he left, the father walked him out to the car and said goodbye. And he came, the father came back into the house, and the mother said, Our son, our precious son, died. For that? He died for that? It was the height of ingratitude to do so little for one who had done so much. It was the height of ingratitude to, to walk away from a sacrifice that was so great. It is the height of ingratitude to live a selfish life for one who has given so much. Amen. He wore my crown, died my death. Everything I have is his. To give him my life in unselfish service. To return a time so that his work can go forward around the world. It's to starve the selfishness of the human heart to in a recognition of the one, Charles, who wore my crown.